On Sunday, May 22nd, the city of Santa Clarita is hosting the Stage 8 start for the Amgen Tour of California, an 800-mile road race considered the largest cycling event in the United States of America. And here to talk to us about that is Phil Lantis, Arts, and Administra Arts Administrator for the city of Santa Clarita. Uh, Phil, on Sunday, May 22nd, from 10 to 12, what are we going to see down at the Westfield Valencia Town Center? Well, it's a wonderful event where there's a, at starting at 10, we'll have some activities like a tricycle racing for kids or adults um, right on Town Center Drive. And then at about 11 o'clock, the uh, cyclists will start checking in on the check-in stage. There's an opportunity to interact with the cyclist and get to know them a little bit and, and see who they are. And then right at noon, they'll be all lined up and they'll be heading out of town to Thousand Oaks. And it's, uh, it's just a great opportunity to enjoy cycling in a very intimate way. And uh, uh, even if you're not a cycling fan, it's a great way to learn about the sport. And this is uh, the Stage 8 start. It's happening from 10 to 12. There's also uh, opportunities for autograph signings. Can you talk about sort of the vibe of the start itself? Well, it's, it's actually, it's a, it's a combination of being really casual in terms of approachability for the athletes. Usually they're out there, they're, they're engaging with the audience, and there's this wonderful excitement that builds towards that start. There's these wonderful announcers that do a great job of really building the excitement so you're feeling a part of something, and when those guys take off, it's like, yeah! It's really one of those sports that it really engages you on a, a visceral level, and, and a huge amount of the, the, that is the announcers who do an amazing job of building it up. And this is the third start that the city has uh, hosted, and it's also the fourth um, stage for the Amgen Tour of California. Can you talk what, about what that means to us locally, getting the tour back here? Well, it's, it's huge for us because uh, obviously it fits with our community. We're really a community that values healthy living, and uh, cycling is a huge part of that. There's a large local ridership, and bringing an international event with a, the focus uh, from all over the world to our community and putting us on the map and truly being honored as the start for the final leg of the tour, the final stage, heading out from here to Thousand Oaks is, is a really big honor. It's the first time we've been involved with the final leg, and it's a, it's a great event to be, to be a part of. And I don't think you have to be a cycling fan. And, you know, when we walk around at the event, we talk to a lot of residents that have never even heard of it before, perhaps. Um, but the significant thing about our stage is it's, it's not only the, it's, well, it's the finale of the entire race. So when the riders are interviewed on stage, they're talking about, you know, all of the drama that's led to this point for really the, um, the moment of glory, I guess, for one, for one team. Well, and you can see the exertion that they've had to put out over multiple days. It's not like a one-day race. They've been coming from Northern California over about eight days, and uh, they're worn out, and you can kind of sense it. And, and, and that's a pretty cool thing, too. It's different than some other sports where it's a one-time only sort of thing. Um, it really is about that endurance over the long haul of the various stages. And, and so it's great to, to be able to see the athletes up close and personal as opposed to some other sports and really have an opportunity to see the finest cyclists in the world. And this is different from when we've held uh, stage finishes before, and a lot of residents will remember that, where we had a circuit in town. Um, one, one thing that that involves is less impact on traffic, though. Can you talk about, because I know that we've been getting a lot of questions about what will the traffic impacts be. Can you talk about what, the, what they will be? Basically, they are starting at Town Center Drive in the uh, Valencia Town Center, and they're heading out to McBean and going north on McBean to Newhall Ranch Road and heading west on Newhall Ranch Road out of town. And the good news, as you mentioned, is because it's a start, they're in one pack, and we basically do what's called rolling closures. Um, in other words, just a few minutes before they go, we shut everything down, they roll through, we open everything back up. So the impact to our local community is relatively minor and definitely much less than a finish. Phil, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're out there, you're looking for something fun to do, head down to the Westfield Valencia Town Center for the 2011 Amgen Tour of California on Sunday, May 22nd from 10 to noon. Uh, for This Week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.